What's good, y'all? This is Vaughn Edmead. Uh, I know y'all are like, yo, I'm in the same clothes that I was in in the last video. That's because I'm really just taping all this stuff uh, right here and now. Like, I don't know when I'm always going to have time to shoot the videos. So I want to make sure that when I do have time, I put up enough content that um, will, will, will feed the hunger for days to come. So really, like, I'm getting back into Average's failure. And I really feel like God has given me some insight as far as like, yo, what does Average's failure really mean? Um... Like literally, it, it like even though I've always used the phrase "averages failure," those of you who've known me for years know about "averages failure." I trademarked the phrase and all that kind of stuff, but but I was always trying to figure out like, okay, "averages failure," but what's like the positive aspect of that? Like you're average, but where am I trying to get you to? And it really didn't seem like any word that I was trying to use really described what it is that I wanted for those who really joined me on this journey of Average's failure. Um, and literally, um, you know, so for some of y'all who know, I'm the assistant pastor of a church uh, down in Virginia. And literally, our senior pastor, though, the other day was teaching Sabbath school. And one of the things that he said, and it was so deep, um, you know, because most people ain't trying to, you know, say most people trying to get through the regular service or what have you. For those of you who go to church, um, but one thing that he was talking about, he was talking about this verse that um, that that in the verses in the book of Acts, chapter one, verse eight, I think, and it gets to this point where it says that, um, you know, like you, you will receive power, right? You will receive power, and then it says that once you've received this power. Then you, you, with this power, you will, you will be able to be a witness. And it says that you will witness to, to um, it just talks about um, Jerusalem. And then it says, I mentioned some other cities. And then it says to the rest of the world. And I just want you to get like, like where I'm going with this. Because like, I think this will help whoever it is that's listen to, listening to this. And the word, the original Greek word that's used there to, rep to mean power is the word dunamis and if you know what the word dunamis means the word dunamis is also the foundation of the word that we use today that means dynamite and as we were discussing one of the things that we we came to the conclusion of is that uh, when you think about dynamite dynamite first it dynamite is explosive dynamite is powerful right dynamite the thing about dynamite is that first it breaks itself down and then it breaks the things down that are around it, right? And it was so dope when, when, um, when, um, at, when I was thinking about this. And I want you to think about this, not just in a philosophical sense, but I want you to think about this on your job. I want you to think about this, um, you know, in your business. I want you to think about this, right? But think about this as, as far as being on your job. That, that first dynamite breaks itself down, which means that it had to be broken, which means that like something had to change in the dynamite. The dynamite itself had to become explosive. And the old things, its old look or what have you, had to be broken down in order for something to happen. All right? And so I'm just, I, I just want us to, to understand that because for many of us, we're not really going to get to where we're trying to get to until something in us changes, right? And for a lot of us, we've been comfortable. We've been very comfortable. And it's not until we get broken down, right? And I'm not, I, I don't want y'all to think about this cheesy. I want you to really think about like, yo, what needs to change in order for us to get to that, that the, the level in our jobs that we want to get to. Some of you all want to maybe become managers. Some of you all maybe want to become executives, CEOs, right? Uh, chief marketing officers. Some of you want to start your own businesses or what have you. Some of y'all want to uh, uh, get involved in your government and have impact in your communities and, and community organizations, right? But what has to change with us first, right? And then what's dope about uh, Dynamite is that after it's broken itself down, it also breaks down things that are around it, right? So you're seeing the things that at your job or the things or the other people that you want to see change and and you're, you're seeing the 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 policies that you want to see change in the government you're seeing the policies that you want to see change um, on the job you're seeing the policies that you or, or, or the um, the operations that need to be changed in your business but but those things can change right but it, the, the explosiveness has to start with us 
then we can affect change with, on those around us. And watch this. I want you to understand why that's beautiful because it's actually depicted in that, that story that I was telling you about. So it's like, once you have power, you'll be able to be a witness, it says. And it starts off by saying Jerusalem, right? And the, the people who were being spoken to at that time were residents of Jerusalem, okay? But then it said Judea, and then it says, to, which is the surrounding areas of Jerusalem. Then it says to Samaria, which was somewhat close in, in, in relationship to um, uh, Judea. And then it says, and then to the rest of the world. And literally, I've been around people who I've actually seen this happen in their life where, and, and watch this, right? It's, so it says that first it starts with them. They would receive power. Then they would affect change or literally around them. And then a little bit further around and then to the rest of the world, right? But it starts with you first. It started with them first. And that's what I really wanted to get out of that. And that's what God was showing me. Like, when I, I was like, wow, you know what? When you talk about power, when you talk about dunamis, when you talk about dynamite, that explosiveness, that's not average. And so my, 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 what, what I want you all to understand for this year is that when we talk about averages, failure, what we're talking about is unleashing the power, right? That's going to be our theme for this year is averages, failure, unleash the power, unleash that dunamis that is within you. Why? Because when you when you change, you're going to affect change on so many others, man. And I'm just I just can't wait to see what it looks like when we get into 2018 after we've seen the power that we have here in 2017, right? And then we'll think of what the next theme is going to be after that. But for this year's theme, we're, everything is really going to be centered around how do we unleash the power that has already been given us? It's already inside of us, but we just need to ignite so that it can be so that there can be an explosion of that greatness within us, right? And I'm not just talking hypothetical. We're really going to talk about the practical things that it's going to take for us to have that explosiveness, right? I, I hope this is going to be beneficial to all of you. So, average is failure, right? We're going to be talking a lot about professional development, career development, and workforce development. And uh, yeah, man, that's it. Average is failure. Unleash that power. This shit. Peace.